My name's Jeanette Douglas and I'm the part-time coordinator at the place. I'm absolutely in my dream job. Having started there in 1990 and now being able to work here when we're doing something so exciting, it's just brilliant. When COVID struck, we didn't know what we were going to do. We were without a venue anyway and we were trying to think as to what the future of youth work would look like and then one day when I was just driving past the field and I saw the for sale sign and I just thought hmm a field we could have a field we could run about we could play games that would be good and so we ran the idea past young people and they were like yeah we quite like that idea we paid for somebody to clear the field a bit of it and we put a stretch tent up for nine weeks and it just surpassed all our expectations. It sits in an area of recognised deprivation, mental health problems are, are really, really bad. And we knew that for many families that were already experiencing mental health, having been shut in, that could have only been made worse by you know the lockdown and we were really worried about you know, where our young people were at. They were just so pleased to kind of be back. They wanted the opportunity to speak to friends and to have youth workers to support them. Just along the road, we have a nursery and they came in um, two or three mornings a week with their little ones because the weather had started to turn, it was October. So their little ones were running right under the tent. And um, then a young mum's group came and said, can we use your tent? So then, because they'd been isolated, they'd been shut in, you know, they started to use the tent. So the idea of playing games and a bit of grass just became something very different. The field's a two and a half acre field and the opportunities are endless now, really. I am the senior youth worker for the place in Alness and I first got involved with the place during school. They were offering awards, um, SQA recognised qualifications, which we offer the kids now called Youth Achievement Awards. Our main aim is just to act as a warm and welcoming environment for the young people and our plan is to get a chalet for one-to-one -one cooking groups to come in. So we've been cleaning areas for that. Just developing different areas, you know, getting the kids involved in the outdoors again after a challenging year. The main goal is to have different areas around the field, stretch tent for the young people. We have, uh, for example, Blooming Gardeners, they work with adults with additional support needs and they've got a poly tunnel that's going to be run up at the back. So the main goal is just to have everyone to come down and enjoy the field. This is a community asset now, really. It's, I think it will benefit the community for years to come. It's, it's our new home, so yeah, we just can't wait to develop it. For anybody that's thinking about doing this, it's not an easy journey, but it's a worthwhile journey. This, for us, is going to be a huge community resource. And we can see it as being intergenerational, just everybody working together. There are many uses for this to be used as a community resource. I just see it as, as a huge asset to our town now.